Hello everyone, please excuse the state of the house behind me. This is real life. If you'd like to see Darcy's playmat absolutely covered in toys, there it is. Um, I feel like my packing videos are always really chaotic. I can never be organised enough to have it all set up nicely and all this sort of thing. That was Darcy's toy that I was trying to move out of the way but ended up switching on. Um, yeah. I wanted to do like a nice packing video but as usual it's just chaotic. Um, I only had like an hour and a half without Darcy today. Um, she's normally with me all the time. I very rarely ask anyone to have her and if I do it's always my mum. Um, my mum was literally only free for like an hour and a half today. So I raced in, got my Disney nails done. <laughs> Thankfully I've managed to do a little bit of packing yesterday. Um, I'm just going to stop rambling and show you where we're at. But if you're new here, hello, I'm Chloe. Um, I try to go to the Disney parks fairly regularly. I've been to Paris three times, Florida once, and I'm going to Disneyland Paris tomorrow with my nine month old daughter. And we are going to uh, California Disneyland in November as a family. So if you want to see more Disney content, follow along because there will be lots of Disney content. Today though I'm doing a quick little pack f pack with me for Disneyland or more like see what I've packed. There is smoke in my garden. Where has that come from? Told you, absolutely chaotic. I think it's coming from somebody having building work done a few doors down. At least I hope that's where it's coming from. Anyway, we're going to do a little pack with me or like see what I'm taking to Disneyland for like 36 hours in Disneyland, whatever it is that we're gonna be there for. Yeah, it's just me, my nine and a half month old daughter Darcy, and we are traveling with minimal luggage, so not even like a hand luggage case. We've just got the small cabin bag allowance that EasyJet gives each passenger. Um, so literally like Darcy's changing bag and then like a bag for me, and that's it. So we'll see how we get on. So this is Darcy's changing bag. It's um, by a brand called Giggle, I think. And I've had it since she was born. I really like it. Um, it's quite spacious inside and has lots of pockets. So I thought that I would just play it safe and take her usual changing bag with us. I've already um, pretty much packed it. So I thought I would show you what I've got in here. Um, so first of all, I've got a dummy with a clip hanging in her little dummy pot there um, it will be tucked inside the bag but for now I've got it hanging out of the way in this front pocket I've got some easily accessible snacks so a bag of crisps for me but I would I would share these with her because they melt in your mouth um, so if she's super hungry I would share them with her and then I've got some breakfast bars in the back pocket there and then this is my ring sling um, so it's a super easy sling um, it took me a couple of days to get to grips with but now I find it super easy to do and my plan is to use the sling um, when we get to Charles de Gaulle so I won't get my um, pram back straight away I think you have to go to baggage claim to get it so I figured the easiest thing to do is going to be put her in the sling so that I can carry the bags um, until I've got my pram back and I'll also use it in Disneyland um, during the fireworks and stuff like that. I don't have anything in the side pocket. I think there might be a stray mask in one of these side pockets. But what I may do is tuck my camera on its tripod down into one of the side pockets just until we're through security because you have to put electronics through security on their own. Um, and I don't want to be digging around in my bag. So it might be easier if that's just tucked in the side um, until we are done with security. And then this is the main body of the bag. So in here... I've got all of my liquids. Um, I do need to pop my like foundation and concealer into here and um, when I've used them tomorrow. But um, this is all the rest of my liquids. So I've got deodorant, cowpole sachets, it's a must when you're traveling with a baby, a cleanser, baby safe sanitizer, a lip balm, my moisturiser, sun cream, toothpaste, nappy cream, and I think that's it. And then, like I say, I need to add in my um, foundation and concealer when I'm done with them tomorrow. 
but I figure if I have them all in a easily accessible pouch, when we get to security, I can just whip them out and pop them into a see-through bag. Um, I only have one sandwich bag, which I've used uh, for snacks, which I'll show you in a second. So normally I would pop them all in a sandwich bag, but I don't have one. So I'll just have to move them when we get to security, but I'm gonna keep that on top. So again, it's super easily accessible. I'm quite an organized traveler. I like to have things in the exact order I'm gonna need them. Um, it's just how I am. So hopefully that will make it easier getting through security. Then in the side pockets, I've got her sun hat, which I might actually move um, to the park bag that I'm going to use just so that I know it's in there. Um, but we've got her sun hat, a full pack of wipes, um, a stash of nappies i usually use cloth nappies but i'm not taking cloth nappies to france i don't have the luggage allowance and i don't want to have to bring them back with me on the plane so um, we're using disposable nappies for this trip so i've tucked some in the side pocket there this mini wet bag has her um, cup in it for water um, obviously it's empty because we won't be able to take any liquids through security other than the stuff in the bag obviously this is another mini wet bag and it has her outfit in it so my plan is to just get her up in the morning um tomorrow and she'll be in her pajamas i'll pop her cardigan over the top because it's going to be half four in the morning so it's going to be chilly here i'll pop her cardio over the top of her pajamas and then i'll get her changed at the gate before we go on the plane so her outfit is in here including like vest socks her romper um, even these little sock on things that keep socks on their feet um, and again it's all in one place so I won't be rummaging around for anything that's in the bag we've got passports and my purse which have our global health cards ID my money and everything in there and then in here I've got a bib and a selection of little teether toys which she can play with on the plane then I've got my bag of snacks so there's just a selection of baby snacks and things for me in there and things that we can share um darcy has allergies and i am still breastfeeding her so therefore i have to make sure i don't eat anything with her allergens in either i think it's going to be quite tricky to eat in the parks so i am taking these with me and i've also made these little pastry pinwheels that she really likes and i'm going to take those with me as well they are vegan, so I'm hoping that I'll be allowed to take them through, um, but I only made them earlier, so they're not yet in the bag. Um, but yeah, they're vegan, so there's no dairy, no meat or anything, so I'm hoping I'll be okay to take those through security. And then in the back, I have a bunch of nappy bags because you never know when you're going to need them. Um, paracetamol, a stray tampon because again, <laughs> you just never know. Um, and that is it for the main body of that bag. Um, so my hope is that um, when we come back, we'll have eaten all the snacks. So there'll be room in here for souvenirs. In the back of the backpack, I actually have all my travel documents. Um, so I have most of them digitally on my phone, but you never know when your phone's gonna cut out or whatever. So I um, have printed all of the ones that I could print as well. And I also have um, a copy of Darcy's birth certificate and a copy of my marriage certificate because my passport's in my maiden name. So my husband and I got married in 2020, um, after which I changed my surname to Prendergast, which is his surname. Um, but my passport is still in my maiden name and it doesn't expire till next summer. So I never saw the value in um, renewing it, especially because during the time it was the COVID pandemic and nobody could travel anyway. Um, and I don't like to spend money when I don't have to. So I didn't want to renew my passport before I needed to. Um, Darcy has her passport. Um, obviously in her surname, which is Prendergast as well. And I have heard that people have been stopped when they're traveling on their own with a child whose surname is different from them. So just to try and offset that, I wanted to make sure that I had a copy of her birth certificate and a copy of our marriage certificate, proving that yes, my passport is in the name Chloe Murray, but here I got married to William Prendergast. Her birth certificate is here. I'm Chloe Prendergast. It's just that my passport's in my maiden name. Um, I'm sure it will be fine, but again, I'm an organised traveller and I just want to make sure that I don't run into any issues. So I've got those documents in the back of the bag.
this bag has these handy straps to attach to the pram so my hope is that I can keep the pram with me and literally until we board the gate uh, board the plane or at the very least um, until we get to the gate and I can just have this hooked over the pram so that I don't have to carry it around um, but it's not massively heavy anyway. So that bag is sort of like stuff that we might need on the plane um, or in the airport and then this bag is like um, the overnight bag and it's got some of my stuff in it and like extra bits and bobs. So um, it's by Modern Cloth Nappies in this beautiful, I think it's called Spring Awakening, this print. I have the matching nappy to it and I love it because it's got a couple of different ways you can carry it. It's got a zip front pocket, it's got elasticated pockets on the side so you can, I mean if you were bottle feeding you could pop bottles in there or you can just pop your drink in there or whatever. It's really great. I actually bought it as a swimming bag, but we haven't used it for swimming yet. Its first voyage is going to be going on holiday. So at the moment, I've just chucked everything in, but I'm actually going to move my clothes into this pod. It's called a pod. I use it for nappies in the changing bag day to day, um, but they're perfect for packing. There we go. So I've popped our clothes in there and I didn't show you because there's really minimal clothes. Um, so I've literally just taken underwear, um, a different bra option, um, socks, which actually I need to add my socks in. Um, but we've got socks for me and Darcy. Darcy's got a couple of outfit options um, because the weather's going to be quite warm. Um, so I'll pop in a picture if I've still got it of um, the outfit that she's going to wear on the first day which is this really cute Winnie the Pooh romper that I got off of Vinted. I ordered her a bunch of options and then realised I'd ordered the wrong size um, so we'll save those for our California trip um, but yeah so she's going to wear her Winnie the Pooh romper on the first day and then on the second day the forecast is looking really iffy so she's got leggings and a vest to wear with her cardi or we've got a long legged long sleeved romper type thing um or she can just wear her fleecy pajamas and then i normally wear disney clothes in the parks but the weather's really hit or miss um i've had a baby since the last time i went to disney so a lot of my stuff doesn't really fit me how i want it to and i've not found anything in the shops or even on vinted that i wanted to wear so i'm just wearing a new look dress um that i've had since last summer or last spring which is pink i'll put in a picture of it um, once Darcy's awake I can go and take pictures of everything to add into this video afterwards but yeah it's pink and like a midi length and I think it will be comfortable for the flight and in the parks I can breastfeed in it and um, yeah it matches my ears which I'll show you in a second um, but yeah so I think that's going to be the best option and then I'm also taking leggings and a vest top to wear underneath um, a spirit jersey which again I'll take a picture of or, or I'll insert a picture of me wearing it previously um, but I need to iron both of those things before tomorrow so I don't have them here right now they're upstairs. This won't be packed because um, I'm going to wear it tomorrow but I picked up this black new look belt today to go around my dress that I'm going to wear. I've got a very similar one that is brown, a similar brown to the changing bag um, but I'm going to wear my black Vans because they're my most comfortable shoes and um, so I wanted the black belt to match. It would have looked a bit weird if I'd worn brown um, but yeah that won't be packed because I'll wear it and same for this last pair of socks because I'm going to put those with my dress for tomorrow but I've packed the rest so as you can see that's now in there. It doesn't take up much room. Um, I've got two travel adapters which I'm literally just going to chuck in the side so they are European adapters. Um, my camera like I said is probably going to go into the changing bag so that I can get it easily and then I think it's just the little park bag to show you. So oh I've got um, a little elect electronics pouch here so I've got another portable charger the second one is in here I'll show you um, with the cables to charge them and then my phone charging lead will go in here as well um, ready to add into my parks bag when I get there. I was going to take these Halloween ears but I'm actually going to take them out because they're just taking up space and I think I'll be fine with one pair. Um, I should probably tell you about the bag itself. So this is a Minnie Mouse bag. It's actually from Disneyland Paris. I think it's got, yeah, the logo on the side. 
Um, my mum got it for me in July 2019 when we went on our trip together, which I did film. So if you want to see that, I'll leave the link in the description. Um, but uh, my bag while I was out there, it had done me three Disney trips and then it broke. So my mum treated me to this bag as like an early birthday present when I was there. Um, and then it came with me to Florida as well. And it will probably come with us to California in November. So it will have seen three of the parks. Um, but I'm going to take this with me. My plan is to just have this when I'm in the parks. But um, now with having Darcy, I'm not sure if it's going to be big enough. So I'm going to take it with me, but we'll see. I may end up having to carry the main changing bag, but we'll see. For now, I've pre-packed it with a few bits to save time once I'm there. Um, so I've got a handful of nappies, these beautiful ears. I can't actually remember where they're from. So I'm going to have to go back through my Instagram and have a look and I'll put the name on the screen. But they say, let the magic shine with the Disneyland castle. And um, they are based on the Mickey and the Magician song, I think, because that's got the lyrics, let the magic shine, which is one of my favourite shows in Disneyland. So um, I really want to take these. <laughs> they made it difficult for me to decide what to wear because I felt like I had to wear pink to match them. Um, but yeah, we won't be seeing Mickey and the Magician this time. I'm not going to attempt to do any shows with Darcy. Um, in fact, we're just going to stay in Disneyland Park, I think. Um, but yeah, I had to wear these. I bought them during COVID and they haven't seen any park action yet. So I had to take these ones with me. Um, like I say, we've got nappies and I will add my wipes in there. As I've said a couple of times, the forecast is a bit iffy. So I have an emergency poncho. Um, I actually bought these for Florida, but we ended up not needing them. The weather was nice in Florida the whole time, um, apart from the last day when it was freezing, but we didn't get any rain. So I've still got these unopened ponchos. So I've popped that in there just in case. I've got some snacks in there um, so that we have a couple of options of things to eat. There's some more of those teddy faces. Darcy's got some sweet corn rings. I think that's it in that section. And then in this front pocket, I thought I would pop some more snacks so that they were really easily accessible. So she's got a little wafer. There's a breakfast bar for me and I think a soaring bar and some more breakfast bars. And I've also got my lanyard in here. Um, I've got a normal paper ticket and I've got a digital version on my phone for Disneyland. But just in case I end up getting the photo pass, because there's definitely a possibility that I'll buy the photo pass, um, or we end up with an actual ticket for some reason, I thought I would bring my lanyard with my little pouch um, on it just in case. And then lastly in there, I've got this charging bank, um, which is from Kath Kidston and I've had it since 2016 and it's still going strong. Um, now that I've said that, of course, it'll probably break. <laughs> but yeah, that's my charging um, portable charger. <laughs> um, so what I will do is um, once we're there or perhaps even before I leave tomorrow morning, I'll pop my phone cable in there um, so that it's there with the portable charger if I need it um, and maybe I'll just pop that inside um, my bag and once we are through security what I will probably do is add a bottle of water um, and my hand sanitizer and all that sort of thing to this bag so that it is immediately prepped and ready for the parks that's the plan anyway so obviously I do have another pouch upstairs um, with my makeup, a few more toiletry items, my hairbrush, hair bands, that sort of thing, um, which will go into that changing bag bag. Um, but I will still need them tonight and tomorrow morning. And I have another little pouch that's got my face cloth and my toothbrush holder and all that sort of thing in it, my toothbrush case. Um, but again, I'll still need that tonight and tomorrow morning. So um, as soon as I'm done with those tomorrow morning, I will throw them into the bag and I should be ready to go. Check in for our hotel isn't until 3 p.m. and we will be arriving at the... Um, what's the station called? I can't remember the proper name, um, but we'll be arriving at the train station outside Disneyland probably around midday, hopefully if everything goes okay. Um, so my plan is to go to the luggage drop, 
at the entrance to the park. So when you're approaching the parks, if you go down to the right, there is a little window where you can leave your luggage for a few euros based on the size of the items. So my plan is to decide on whichever bag I'm taking into the parks. I'm hoping I'll be able to manage with this little one um, and check the other two in and then go and spend a good few hours in the parks until the evening. Um, but it will depend on how Darcy's doing, um, at which point I'll go back and collect my luggage, go to the hotel, check in, freshen up, get changed if we need to, um, and then go back to the parks for the fireworks. So realistically, we're not going to have loads of time in the parks. It's going to be sort of like just an afternoon and an evening. Um, but that's good enough for me with a baby. I just wanted a taster. And because it's off peak, I barely paid anything for my actual Disney ticket. Um, and then the next day we will probably spend relaxing at the hotel in the morning and then have a few hours in the Disney village, um, maybe go for lunch somewhere, um, probably McDonald's because I think that's the only place where I can eat anything um, with the allergies. <laughs> um, but do some shopping. Obviously, I have limited space, so I won't be able to bring back loads, but um, I'm hoping it's going to be quite chill, quite relaxed. And then we'll get the magic shuttle back to the airport. Um, ready for our flight home that evening so I'm hoping that it will all go to plan and um, I'm also hoping that I won't regret taking such a small amount of luggage um, I think it's going to be fine but you just never know realistically if I've forgotten anything I can just buy it there um, it will cost me more money but I can buy it there um, so yeah I think that's it. That's everything I'm taking other than the toiletry items, like I said. Um, we're ready, pretty much, which is a bit scary. Um, but I hope you enjoyed this little casual video. My pack with me's, like I say, are always a bit chaotic and never as lovely and organised as other people's. But maybe for California, I'll get myself more organised and do a proper one for you. Um, but yeah, by the time you see this video, we'll have already been and be home. So that's exciting. Um, but if you have any questions, as always, let me know in the comments below and I'll get back to you and I will see you next time. Bye.